Season 2 is almost entirely zombies themed, but don't get too excited because they seem to have forgot the actual zombies mode. They released the Season 2 roadmap today, and there's a ton of content for every other mode besides zombies. If we take a look at the top left here, we see that Fortune's Keep is coming back, and they did tease zombies on that map, showing even in the trailer for it, a mimic, a ray gun, and even a spore from the strongholds. So that got me thinking, oh wow, we might actually be getting a new map for Modern Warfare Zombies, but psych, that's just a contract in Warzone. And the contract that we're getting for Warzone is literally just a zombie stronghold thrown onto the map. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like that this isn't a fun idea for Warzone, but just almost seems like a slap in the face to all the zombies players in this game. Because outside of the contract, we're also getting wonder weapons and zombies power-ups on the Warzone map. So if we're already putting all the zombies related stuff on there, why don't we just get a whole separate map for the zombies mode. And just to sprinkle a little more salt in the wound, we're getting two new Vortex maps in multiplayer. And those two maps are Airborne, which is Terminal Zombified, really cool idea. And we're getting Skid Grow, which is Skid Row Zombified. Now these, just like all the other maps that we got in Vortex before, are all just going to be limited time and exclusive to that mode. And I think Horde Point, which is coming out. And I feel like I shouldn't have to say this again, but these would be perfect for an Onslaught type mode for Modern Warfare Zombies. But they seem to not want to throw that in there, even though I think it would be pretty easy to implement. But I'm not a game designer, so what do I know? But at least we'll get some kind of zombie action on these maps because of the new mode Horde Point, which is essentially just the mode Hard Point, but instead of just two teams going against each other, trying to control one area there's also gonna be zombies on the map as well and from the looks of it it's not just gonna be on the vortex maps because down here we have it on afghan as well i do think it is cool that they're expanding more on the mode of zombies and multiplayer combining I always thought it'd be a cool concept to use zombies weapons and power-ups and things like that against other people while there's zombies on the map at the same time. And it looks like they're adding that kind of stuff in because you get the chance to pack a punch your weapon and you can even pick up max ammos and insta-kills. But now let's get into the actual content for Modern Warfare Zombies. And I made you guys wait a little bit because they're making us wait a little bit. All this stuff is coming in season. So at the launch, we will not be getting any of these. So at launch of season two, none of this stuff will be there. And that's a new story mission, a new Dark Aether Rift, some new schematics, and everyone's favorite, a new warlord for our new story mission it looks like it's gonna work similarly to how the dead signal mission worked where we just have to go to an anomaly on the map and it'll take us to a new area which i'm assuming is just gonna be a dark aether version of fortune's keep but why not just make that into a new map come on and since i mentioned the dark aether we're getting a new dark aether rift but it might not be a whole map now that i'm reading this because it says face down the largest infested stronghold you've encountered as you enter a new terrifying rift which i'm sure will be fun the first few times i play it but just like the dark aether before it i'll probably only hop in a few few times to get what I'm assuming is the only way to get the new schematics. Then after that, I don't think I'll be going back too much. And actually scratch the whole schematics thing because right here it looks like you need to get prestige levels to acquire three of the new schematics. And like I said, we're getting a new warlord. This one's going to be in the Orlaw military base in Kill House, but it's honestly whatever. I don't really care about a new warlord. But at least one good thing with the new story mission, it looks like we'll be fighting alongside Rabinoff. Because right here it says new secrets await in the exclusion zone and tensions are heightened this time as terminus outcomes have followed your teams into the rift. So there actually might be mercs there as well. It says, thankfully, you have an expert guiding you, Sergei Rabinov. Battle alongside the rest of the squad, completing a series of dangerous tasks and find your way out of the Dark Aether before it's too late. And then they explain a little bit more about what the new Dark Aether is going to be, along with this preview image of them fighting zombies in front of a carousel. But it says, a new story mission with new terrors lurking in the Dark Aether await you. You will utilize a variety of redacted during the investigation of the second rift, whatever that means. It says there's going to be a new maze, a mysterious entity makes her presence known, to Rabin off while they frantically search for that exit from the rift. I'm assuming that might be Maxis, what they've kind of been teasing with the first rift. Earn coveted rewards, follow cryptic clues, and complete time tasks, all while facing down the largest infested stronghold yet seen. Now with the cryptic clues part, I think there might be some sort of Easter egg in it, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. And for all the schematics we're getting, some of them are actually pretty decent. We're finally getting the VR11 one, so you can actually just spawn in with it instead of trying to find one. But the one I really want to look at is the Mags of Holding, because this thing is basically like Ring of Fire. The description for it says, who has time to reload? Now that you've activated mags of holding, which allows your ammunition to feed directly from your weapon's ammo stash, essentially eliminating the need to reload your weapon. So all of this is really cool and I like this a lot. This basically confirms that we are not going to get Ring of Fire at any point during this game's life cycle because it'll just basically be redundant having this as a schematic. But at least we'll be able to play one game every 72 hours where we don't have to reload. So I guess the trade-off of not getting like the boosted damage from Ring of Fire is that you don't have to reload the entire game. And they're also getting a key to the blood burner as a schematic so we can just spawn right in with the motorcycle. And just for one more swift kick into the zombie related nuts, we're actually getting Rick Grimes and Michonne from The Walking Dead added into the game. Because when I first saw Rick in the key art for season two, I thought we might actually be getting some content for zombies and I thought way wrong. And I know I throw the word cuck around on this channel so much that's kind of lost its meaning, but 
but we're actually getting cucked here in zombies, seeing zombies being added into every single other mode besides the zombies mode. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm not gonna play the mode. I'm just disappointed in the lack of content we're getting, but at least we're getting a few new weapons that we can use in zombies. We're getting a BP-50 assault rifle. We're getting the Ram 7 SMG, the SOA subverter battle rifle, and the soul render melee weapon, which just looks like a sword. And of course, with a new season, we're getting new aftermarket parts and we're actually getting a chainsaw attachment to the weapon. So you know I'm gonna be taking this in zombies like Marcus Phoenix and I'm gonna be cutting through zombies like they're locusts. But we're also getting a few other aftermarket parts like the jack backsaw kit which is going to be for the holger 556 assault rifle and it says a conversion kit focused on making the holger 556 more maneuverable the stock is removed entirely for faster more agile tactics which is for the haymaker and it says this weapon modification reinforces the magwell bolt and trigger assembly to accommodate the extra large drum magazine so it looks like we're adding more ammo to it but the haymaker already really isn't that good in zombies so adding more ammo to it. I don't see how that helps it. We're getting the Jack Outlaw kit for the Bass B. It says this conversion kit transforms the Bass B into a lever action rifle, slowing fire rate, but vastly improving accuracy for deadly precision. Not very exciting for that one, I'm not gonna lie. But we're also getting the Jack Burnout kit for the Holger 26, saying it gives it a select fire mode and dramatically increases the fire rate, but can overheat and expand the barrel, introducing spread. That could be interesting, could be fun in zombies. And it looks like the chainsaw is gonna be called the Limb Ripper, which is a fun name for it. It says, unrivaled at creating close quarters carnage, this underbarrel chainsaw makes quick and messy work of anyone foolish to stand in your way. If only they added chainsaw battles, that'd be sweet. And we're also getting another aftermarket optic. But just in case you thought we were finished with more stuff insulting zombies players, the whole battle pass is zombies themed. There's actually aether crystals in the background of it. But just taking a glance at it, it looks like maybe there's a skin for the hellhound here in B13. And Rick's gonna be in the battle pass as well as some sort of zombie operator right here. And we're getting some zombies charms and emblems. And I guess you can get some sh two shatter blast acquisitions. And there's probably gonna be something like uh, two rare aether tools somewhere scattered throughout here. But like, come on, dude. And they even recreated the Walking Dead poster image of all the cars piled up on one side of the highway leaving Atlanta, which I'm assuming says it says not re representative of actual gameplay here. That was literally just for the screenshot, but even something like this would be fun. It would make trying to get around the map terrible with the car, but like at least it'd be something new. And even this new weekly challenge camo, which actually looks really cool, is zombies themed with it looks like undead hands reaching for something with a fiery background. And they even said on Twitter that this camo's animated. So at least it's gonna be a nice weekly camo to grind for. But why are you just spitting in our face? But that's just about everything zombies related that we're getting in season two. I know Treyarch has stopped supporting this mode and Infinity Ward and Raven have taken over, but I didn't think the content drop off was gonna be this fast and this steep. Hopefully they got more stuff cooking for like season two reloaded or maybe even season three. But if they don't have anything for there, it looks like this mode is just like dead on arrival. And they are just like not supporting it and putting all focus into everything else, which really sucks. But let me know what you think about this update personally for me it's pretty upsetting but i'm gonna go ahead and end it here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later